Yeah. Looks tough to beat right now. Also, birdies at 12 and 14 for Malnati. Now, closest of the bunch, Dustin Bray. He's got a lot of skills. I tell you what, it, uh, he hits some beautiful shots, some good rhythm. Hasn't got a lot out of his game today, but he's got a lot of, a lot of potential. Wouldn't be surprised to see this young man up the leaderboard a lot here in the future. That's a big putt for him. He turned in 37, Craig. He had two bogeys and a double on the way out. He finishes the day one under and still very much within touch. Yeah, four, four back of the lead. And he's a guy that uh, Dustin Bray that won seven times at the University of North Carolina. Uh, he bet Davis Love, who uh, before that had six wins. So, But it's, he's 33 years old now, so it's sort of 10 years later. And taking him a little time to get uh, get to this point. Now Vander Walt to save his par out of the bunker. Last player on the golf course. And despite all the rain delays, Friday and Saturday, we are on schedule. Third round complete. Vander Walt, a round of 72, one over today. At minus nine, he is six shots behind Peter Malnati, who shot a seemingly effortless 67 today. Great touch, made a lot of putts, found a lot of fairways. Well, you've got the guy that's number two on the money list leading the golf tournament, and Patton Kazaya is number one on the money list, three back. Those are the guys that I'm looking at. We appreciate you hanging out late with us here on Saturday night west side of Cleveland. Our final round coverage tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time. For Craig Perk, Steve Burkowski, Phil Blackmar, Jane Crafter, and our entire crew, I'm Whit Watson. Tomorrow we crown a champion for the second time at Lakewood Country Club. See us at the Rustoleum Championship tomorrow. This has been a presentation of the only worldwide network dedicated to the game, Golf Channel, part of NBC Sports.